Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and we've been talking about the situation in Albuquerque, the demonstrations and subsequent riot that happened. And we had a caller earlier tell us that he saw a video where a young lady was shoved by the police. That was a different riot. That was the riot in Arizona where the people were rioting because their sports team didn't win. Uh, still not an appropriate response from the police, but that was not the Albuquerque riot. Just want to correct that. Also had another crew member suggest we're looking at solutions. How do we get the police under control? I had a crew member step in here and say, we need to look at the grand jury laws in New Mexico. Is there a way that they can bypass the official grand jury that is essentially in the control of those who are in power, who are not doing anything, who are just content to pass on the lawsuits to the taxpayer? And as I reported earlier, in New Mexico, they have changed the police academy training to a shoot first curriculum in spite of all these shootings, in spite of all this abuse. And they had a police academy instructor say that he was he would refuse to teach that curriculum because it was a shoot first curriculum. He was subsequently let go. Let's go to Jim in North Carolina. He says he thinks he has some solutions to this. Jim, what are your solutions? Well, my, my solution is pretty simple, is that a group of people need, when they protest, to be prepared to go to jail. Once they're inside the jail, don't make bond. Go ahead and fight the thing all the way to trial. You're going to lose a trial, appeal it. you got to create a paper record to where the state agencies are properly, you know, know that, you, that you're having problems with police. Um, if, you don't, if you don't fight the cops physically, you can't, you know, uh, what's your argument going to be? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to take some people to essentially lay down a significant portion of their life. You know, that's the only way that anything ever changes, isn't it? We either spend some time or some money or a huge hunk of our life to try to change things, but it's a worthy way to try to go about things. We, we'd ask for somebody in New Mexico to call in. Thank you very much, Jim. Uh, we've got Brian in New Mexico. Brian, do you have any firsthand knowledge of the demonstrations yesterday? Hello? Hello, Brian in New Mexico. Do you have any... Yeah, yeah sorry about that. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm calling from uh, Albuquerque. Uh, it's kind of crazy. It almost feels like a pressure cooker where, you know, it's just building up. Um, my relationship to it is, so I used to produce a public access television show. When the new mayor came in, he basically took it upon himself to give control of the station to another group. So as part of that, there's a lot of corruption and stuff with that. But as part of it, I attended several city council meetings in order to speak on keeping the public access the way it was. And I was amazed by how many times every time I went to city council, there would be dozens of people with signs saying that they're, you know, a family member had been killed by a police officer. And it made me feel really petty um, arguing for a television show when I'm sitting next to a three-year-old girl whose father had been killed by the police. So I started doing some research, and this was about a year and a half ago. And when I did, of all the thousands of cities and towns in this country, Albuquerque was in the top 10 of per capita shootings of police of its own citizens. Um, it was either number six or number five, as I recall. Uh, and it just really kind of awakened me to how bad this problem was. And we're paying out millions of dollars, tax money, and all that stuff. I think the biggest problem, part of it, is the culture. But I think a lot of it, too, is the federalized grants. Last night, there were um, armored trucks there. There were riot squads, there were SWAT teams, there were police from other cities in their armored vehicles, and it just seemed like the response was way above and beyond anything that, you know, it demanded for it. And I know, you know, there was yeah. forewarning with um, Anonymous saying that they were going to bring down the APD computers and that they were asked... Hang on, we've got to go to break. I want to come back to you. Got a first-hand report out of New Mexico. It is absolutely amazing. But that's what they've been training for. That's what they've been itching for is a fight with the people of America on American streets. We'll be right back.
Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866 229 0927. That's 866 229 0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. Mypatriotsupply.com slash Alex. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine of your sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products. And get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and we were just talking to Brian from New Mexico, a caller who called in with some firsthand knowledge of what's going on in Albuquerque. And, of course, yesterday there were protests, which eventually became violent after about 10 hours. People are very upset about the record of shootings by the Albuquerque police, and it is above normal for the country, but it is something that I believe that we have pointed out over and over again here at InfoWars is something that's being driven from the federal government, militarization of the police, the confrontational attitude of the police, and as they've instituted in New Mexico, a shoot first training regimen at the police academy. This is how this is going to break down. It's not just going to be a homeless man who's shot. They're gonna come into your home Look at New York. This is a story out of PoliceStateUSA.com that broke over the weekend. This is Westbury, New York. And they now have a task force, a police task force that is going to have zero tolerance housing enforcement program. Oh, well, what does that mean? Well, that means that homeowners in the Long Island community of Westbury, about 15,000 people, have had their private property rights abridged to the point where they will no longer even be able to make autonomous decisions about what happens inside their homes. Cops will sweep through communities and conduct housing inspections without notice. A presentation given at a town hall meeting included a prop that explained the changes. The poster included the following statement, quote, modify search warrant law to eliminate prior notice. There we go. And aggressively use warrants and housing sweeps on a regular basis slash 
done, exclamation mark. That's what they're going to do. They're going to have zero tolerance in your house. If they think that you've got somebody that is illegally renting in your home, whatever that means, they are going to just come in without a search warrant, without any private notice. They're going to use SWAT teams on people's individual homes if they just suspect you. This is the real danger of the police and the surveillance state. When they start having all these cameras everywhere and they start profiling people, perhaps turn it over to some artificial intelligence and they see somebody, maybe you've got a flat tire. And so you're kind of hanging around next to a car, which happens to be your car. They don't know that. And then after a while, you duck down and they think that there is a burglary going on and they report that or the AI program reports that to the police. And they show up and you stand up with a tire, arm, tire iron in your, in your hand. Are they going to shoot you thinking that you've got a weapon? I mean, that's more than this guy in Albuquerque had. If they can shoot homeless people for illegally camping, can they bust into your home in New York, in Westbury, New York, without a warrant, without anything other than believing that they're enforcing a zero tolerance program? Can they just bust in? And if you don't know who's coming in. They don't identify themselves properly because, you know, they like to do these no-knock raids. That's the favorite method of the SWAT teams. If you try to defend yourself, you get shot. That's where we're headed. That's why we have search warrants. That's why we didn't have SWAT teams for a couple hundred years. But now it's out of control and it's getting worse. We should have zero tolerance for this kind of activity from our government. We need to do something about that. We were just talking to Brian in New Mexico. Brian, I wanted you to continue with what you saw there firsthand in Albuquerque. Um, the biggest thing was the tear gas. A uh, long time ago I was in the military and I hadn't experienced that um, since then. And uh, it's it just out of control. And I guess the main thing is, you know, I'm talking with people, what can be done? Because you know, in a way, a protest demonstration is invigorating. It shows that there's com camaraderie between, you know, other people that feel the same. But at the end of the day, if there's no justice, it, it doesn't really change anything. And that's the biggest thing, that the system seems to be so corrupt, both locally and then as you go up further and further. The feds just recently repainted a lot of the local police cars. And they used to have a slogan on the side saying, in step with the community, um, that slogan is now missing. And it's just a little thing, but it just shows how we are getting further and further away from the principles that this country was founded on. Um, your, your, your thing about, you know, New York, where they can come into your home because you have somebody they don't like in your living room, is just outrageous. And Or because they you know, think you may have somebody that they don't like, somebody that you maybe didn't file the proper permits for, pay the proper taxes for, so they just come in with a no-knock SWAT team raid, no search warrant. In my personal space, if somebody was homeless, for example, um, and I said, you can sleep on my couch till you get back on your feet. You know, does that make me now a criminal because I'm aiding and abetting, you know, illegal campers? The, the, the whole thing is just off. And it sounds like it's, you know, being facetious or over the top. But the situation right now is over the top. And I, unless there's justice, I really don't see a solution. You know, I'm not saying that these police that did that should be going to jail or whatever, but they should be having a trial. There should be some legitimate, you know, right away the police chief, you know, the new police chief, because the other one would constantly support the, you know, his troops 100%. Um, he was finally gotten rid of. We've had a new police chief let, for about let me, two months. Let me stop you right there. You just said he would support his troops. See, you understand that this is a militarization, don't you? We distinctly understand that. They've been talking, if you go back and look at movies going back to the 70s or 80s, the police even then were talking about civilians versus a, a cop or whatever. But that has really been doubled down. That's no longer anything other than occupied territory, the way the police are operating. You understand instinctively that they're troops, aren't they? And, and, and by, you just look at them yesterday with their... I mean, they look like a cross between Darth Vader and Nazis with their SS helmets and all their weapons and armored vehicles. It's just, it, it is so militaristic that it, it, it's, it, it staggers the mind. I guess that's the hardest thing is people just can't grasp the magnitude or how deep 
down this rabbit hole we've already allowed ourselves to go. And that is it. It, it. It's We've allowed it to happen. You know, people are just so hung up doing their jobs, paying the bills, watching the 